Chan is the wisdom of the East. For thousands of years, Chan has profoundly influenced Chinese culture and spirit. The word Chan derives from the Sanskrit language, meaning contemplation in peace. It was introduced to China from India in the 6th century. Thereafter, generations of masters integrated Chan with the Chinese Confucian and Taoist wisdoms until it was fully fledged in the era of the sixth patriarch. During the Tang and Song dynasties, practicing Chan gained prevailing popularity amongst both scholars and commoners. At the juncture of the two dynasties, Chan was spread eastward, all the way to Korea and Japan. Can we still detect traces of Chan today? In the Meili Snow Mountains on the southeastern edge of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, a group of pilgrims are forging ahead. They are striving to break through their physical and mental limits, determined to reach the peak of 5,000 meters above sea level. Master Xu Shen Jingyan is fully committed to the practice of Chan here. At this untrodden and unspoiled spot, he is accompanied only by trees, grass, snowy mountains and clouds. He apprenticed himself to the universe, built up his physique and mind, and attained the full sense of freedom and detachment. Perhaps this is a studio with the highest elevation and most simplicity in the entire world, where he conveys the essence of Chan with his paintings. Chan painting was born in the Tang Dynasty, Integrating the utmost simplicity with noble aspirations, Chan painting embodies the true meanings of life. The secrets of the universe and nature are seemingly rooted deeply in these energetic ink marks. Chinese Chan holds that human beings are inherently wise. Earthly trappings prevent them from enlightenment. A life of Chan is by no means a passive retreat. Instead, it inspires people to find their true selves and forge ahead valiantly. People should not only regain their true nature in meditation, but also attain edification and enlightenment in real life. The mind is unlocked in sound and silence, in activity and tranquility, thereby achieving wisdom. Chinese Chan is none other than everyday life. 中国禅呢，实际上是发扬和继承了以人为本的精神，对内说就是平常心是道，对外说就是本分是接人，始终不变的东西就是利益大众的精神，自利利他，自觉觉他。Beijing 798 is an internationally renowned art district. The artwork, Yuan Xiang of Snow Mountain is exhibited here in the Chan Art Museum. Paintings brim with Chan detach people from the urban hustle and bustle, bestowing them with inner peace and tranquility. Chan originated in India, but took root and bloomed in China. It is a people-oriented philosophy in the national pursuit of unremitting self-improvement, which has endowed the Chinese culture with inclusiveness and eternal life. Self-fulfillment and altruism advocated by Chan will invigorate human spirits with fresh vitality.